is time for your favorite radio program, Chatting from the Word in the Morning, with your host brother Oscar York Divorce, where we are praying up and praising up and putting that all important snap, crackle, and pop in your Christian morning. Oh, 
an aged man. Yes, yes, yes. I won't let nothing turn me around. That was Sister Tiffany Malone. And she was saying, I won't let nothing turn me around. And around from what? The love of Christ. The love of Christ. Being in love with Christ. Are you in love with Christ this morning? Are you? Oh, my friend, if you want to see him in peace one day, if you want to go home and be with him in heaven one day, we got to love him down here as we live. Good morning, good morning, good morning to you. We're so delighted to be with you this morning and to bring on another episode of Chatting from the Word. Yes, we are. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Shake <it> the <to> feet. <laughs> amen and amen. And on this program where we are praying up and praising up, and putting the all-important snap, crackle, and pop in your Christian morning. Hey, hey, yes we are. And we are, we are so glad to do it. Yes, we are. We are so glad to do it. Amen, amen, and amen. We hope you keep your ears on to the entirety of the program. We hope you have your ears on and you are listening. And Brother Oscar just love to thank you for allowing him to come into your homes. Uh, let this program come into your homes, on your job, while you're jogging, uh, wherever you're listening to the program. We just want to say thank you for listening to us in the morning and for having us on your minds on this beautiful, uh, beautiful day. Again, it's so delight to be with you and to bring on another episode. It was the psalmist David who said, This is the day which the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. I don't know about you this morning, my friend, but I am so glad that the Lord... Woke me up this morning to another beautiful day that he created. Amen and amen. Knowing, knowing that many went to sleep last night and did not wake up for the count. And that's what we must bear in mind when we wake up in the morning. And just a blessing of another beautiful day that the Lord has given to you and to me. If you are on this time side of life, if you are on the top soil and not the soil on top of you, the Lord has blessed you with another day, giving you another chance to make what's wrong in your life right. And to walk closer and closer with him. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Amen. And a amen. And we hope, we hope, we all chat from the word. You don't swindle every chance that the Lord gives you. That you make it right with him so that you may continue to walk closer and closer with him on this beautiful, beautiful morning. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. On this beautiful, beautiful morning. <laughs> people say that it is 78 degrees <laughs> and sunny. 78 degrees and sunny. And my friend, if you need to be out in the element where we live at, in Dayton, Ohio, West Carrollton, Ohio, and the surrounding area, so if you need to be out in the element of things, although it's a beautiful day out there, and the Lord has blessed us in this area with a beautiful day. But if you need to be out in the element, and I'm talking about everybody, 
wherever you may be, if you need to be out in the yelling of things, be careful, be careful, be careful. Because, my friend, we are living in dangerous times today where things are, <laughs> are crazy. I mean, that's the best word Brother Oscar can put when things are crazy and you're dealing with people that are crazy, that will, will flip their top and get upset just over nothing and the, the kind of weapons that they are making today and able to kill the 50 or 60 people all at one time, one pull of a trigger, boom, boom, boom. And then you got people who do the road rage, you know, you get in front of them, or if you get too close to them, they get upset while you're driving on the freeway. Oh, my friend, we must be careful when we are in the element of things. And as we say here, we got to stay praying up and praising up this morning. Here on Chatting from the Word, stay praying up and praising up on this beautiful, uh, beautiful day. You are listening to Chatting from the Word. Yes, yes, yes. You're listening to Chatting from the Word. And we're so delighted that you are listening and that you are keeping your ears on through the entirety of the program. And you all that are continuing to listen to us, we want to say thank you for your patronage and we thank you for listening. And you all who've been who are listening for the first time, we want to thank you for having your ears on and we want to welcome you to the program. Yes, we do. And we would love to make you our honorary guest, thanking you this morning for having your ears on. Yes, 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 yes. Yes. Thank you, thank you, and thank you for having your ears on. Amen and amen. And my friend, since you do have your ears on, and we hope that you keep your ears on through the entirety of the program until we get to the chat part of our program. Amen? <laughs> we hope that to do that, that to keep your ears on long enough to hear the chat. Of course, this chat is a continuation. If you have not been listening to us, and those that have, they know this is a continuation of what we've been talking about. And basically, for the best, for the last two chapters, we've been studying in Second Corinthians 8 and 9th chapter. The 8th and 9th chapter here, Paul is dealing with the ministry of the saints. And here Paul says, well, as touching the ministering to the saints. Touching the ministering to the saints, giving to the saints, helping the saints, assisting the saints in what they need. Who are the saints? We are the saints. We are, are in the body of Christ. We have washed out uh, washed ourselves in the blood of Christ and have connected ourselves with the Father in the name of Jesus. We are the saints. We are the saints. And of course, we're coming from 2 Corinthians 9, 1 through 7, Acts, I believe Acts 4, 35 through 37, Matthew 5 and 20. So we hope that you keep your ears on long enough to hear the chat for this morning. Amen. And uh, a amen. You are listening to Chatting from the Word. Yes, yes, yes. You are still listening to Chatting from the Word. And my friend, if you love what you're listening to, if you love what you're listening to, share this program with your friends, with your loved ones, with your neighbors, those that you're partnering up with on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and other entities that you are listening to on the internet. Share and share this fine, fine program with them. Shout the news out. Let them know that we're on at 9 o'clock in the morning, Monday through Friday, praising and praying and preaching and having a holy good time in Jesus Christ. Amen. And amen. 
And my friend, if you're wondering where you can listen to the program, of course you can listen to the program on many of the other internet networks that we're on. And here's our announcer to allow you to know where you can. If you're wondering where to listen to the program, of course you can Google our program chatting from the word hosted by Oscar All. You can pull up many of our internet networks, iHeartRadio, 45, Google Podcast, Breaker, and many, many more if you want to catch or listen to our program. Amen. 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 Yes, you want to catch our program. You can listen to it on those internet networks, or if you want to listen to it live, you can go to YouTube, Twitter, Tumblr, and of course Spreaker, which is our platform that we're on, if you want to listen to us live on this beautiful, uh, beautiful day. I believe we just had a station break, and you all that heard the station break, we just want to thank you for coming back. After listening to the station break, we want to thank you for keeping your ears on this morning. You are listening to Chatting from the Word. This is our prayer time, and if you have a prayer request that you want us to pray for here on Chatting from the Word, you can send it to our email addresses, which is lowercase Oscar York 3443 at gmail.com or chatting from the word at gmail.com, or you can put it on our messenger page on Facebook page on any page that you're listening to the program through, and we should be able to receive your prayer request. Sweet.
Amen and amen. Of course, this is our prayer time. And if you have a prayer request that you want us to pray for here on Chatting from the Word, you can send it to those entities. Our announcer continue on announcing. Amen and amen. And of course, if you have a prayer request that you want to keep confidential, that's fine with us here on Chatting from the Word. We do respect your confidentiality. Just simply say, Brother Oscar, pray for me and call my name and I'd be just so pleased and so delighted to do uh, just that. Again, this is our prayer time and we need to keep in our prayers those that have been requesting prayers, those that have lost loved ones, uh, those that are going through some difficult times. Keep praying for uh, the politi our political leaders today. Of course, we are in the, the process of uh, picking a new leader to lead us here in the U.S. of A. So we need to pray for that as well. And pray for the church and pray uh, for each other. Again, my friend, this is our prayer time. And if you have a copy of God's Word and you want to read along with us our prayer time scripture, our prayer time scripture will be taken from... 1 Timothy 2, 1-6. through six. That's 1 Timothy 2, 1-6. through six. And Paul here, he's writing to his son in the faith. And Paul is saying to Timothy, Timothy, I exhort therefore that first of all, supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving up thanks be made for all men, for kings, and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all godliness and honesty. For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God, our Savior who have all men to be saved and to come unto the knowledge of the truth. For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus, who gave himself a ransom for all to be testified in the due time. Here, Brother Paul the Apostle, is telling Timothy that we should continue praying for those uh, in authority, the kings and those that are in higher authority, so they so that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life. Amen and amen. My friend, are you ready to approach the throne of grace so that we may have a talk with our Father in the name of Jesus? Let us approach his throne. Sweet Our Father. Father, you are Jehovah Jehovah. Father, you see and you provide. Father, we recognize your mercy, your goodness, and your love for us. And Father, we just this morning want to thank you for your grace and your mercy. Oh, Father, we can only fathom without your grace and mercy. Where would we be? Oh, Father, we just want to thank you for allowing us to see another day. A day on yesterday was not promised. But, Father, we thank you for allowing us to be there on the top soil and not the soil on top of us. Another day, a day, to, so that we may have another chance to make what's wrong in our lives right. 
Oh, Father, we just want to thank you as always for allowing your only begotten Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, to come down from the beauty of heaven, down to the sin-sick world, to show us how to love, to show us how to live, and to connect with you. Oh, Father, this week, thank you, thank you, thank you, Father, so much, so much, Father. And for allowing him, for allowing him, Father, and he himself took upon himself the cross, became sin for us. So that our sins may be washed away in his blood. Father, Father, we just want to thank you. Thank you, Father, for that. And Father, we Father, we just thank you for so much. Your love and your grace, Father. Thank you for pouring down your love and grace. Allowing salvation come down and allowing Jesus down the cross so long ago. Oh, Father, we pray for those that that uh, that that, that, that the things, devastations of this earth has affected. Earthquakes and dives and places, storms and hurricanes, and those that it touched, for those that it destroyed their lives, uh, those that lost loved ones to disastrous things that has occurred. Father, we pray that you be with them, help them, but continue on looking to up to you from which coming their help. And for all those that have been caught up in road rages and affected them and took a loved one from them. And those, Father, that have been uh, mass killings and road rages, Father, we pray that you will be with them and help them to continue on looking up to you for what's coming and their help. And Father, we pray, Father, we pray, Father, for all nations that are in war this morning. All we pray that they may find that peace and that peace that brings about the right understanding. Father, we pray, Father. Yes, we do. We pray, Father. We pray that be any boy, girl, men and woman who want to accept Jesus Christ as a Lord and Savior, that they may do it today, that you give them the opportunity to do it as soon as possible. Father, again, we pray for those who are sick and sick. Father, we pray that you would heal their bodies. Help them to regain the strength that they need to, to do the things that they ought to do. Oh, Father, we pray for those who have lost loved ones. Father, we pray. Father, we pray that you will comfort them. Father, we pray for those that lost loved ones due to, pull, due to the actions of the police. Father, we pray that you comfort them. Father, we pray for each police officer who have given their lives in the line of duty. Father, we pray for their families. Father, we pray that you keep them, that you comfort them too, and put your loving arms around them. Oh, Father, we pray for all of our political leaders this morning. Father, we pray that they never make laws fitting us of worshiping you in spirit and truth, but make laws we all can live in peace and in harmony. Oh, Father, we pray, we pray for them. We pray, Father, yes, we do. We pray, Father, for the church. Once again, for allow the church to be the lighthouse, leading others to Jesus Christ. Father, we pray, Father, for all of our listeners this morning. Father, we pray for all their doubts and fears. Father, cast all their doubts and fears in the deepest part of the sea, where they won't resurface anymore. 
Oh, Father, we pray for our program here, Chatting from the Word. Father, help us to keep this beautiful program on the airway where we're teaching and preaching and praising your name. Oh, Father, we pray for our lesson today, giving, touching, the ministry to the saints. Oh, Father, help us that we may say something in our lesson today, in our chat to help someone that it is affecting. Oh, Father, we pray for those that are having problems, problems in their marriage, problems in their families, problems in their children. Young people, no people alike are having problems reaching for higher education. Father, we pray that they may succeed in that. Pray for those who are incarcerated. Pray for all that they may change. Praying for the church and problems that some are having, we pray they look towards the law of liberty. Oh, Father, we pray for the, uh, we pray for those that are trying to teach and preach your word worldwide. Father, we pray that you would give them the courage to keep on preaching and teaching your word to a world that's dying. Oh, Father, we pray, Father, that you keep us encouraged and never discouraged. In Jesus' blessed name do we pray. Amen. something that's on your mind. And as we continue saying, if you want us to pray for something that's on your, your mind here on Chatting from the Word, just send it to those entities our announcer continue on announcing. Amen. And uh, a amen. You are listening to Chatting from the Word. Yes, you're still listening to Chatting from the Word, and this is the portion, of course, where we are chatting. And our announcer that announced this point, it wasn't, he wasn't working. <laughs> he wasn't working, so we have to announce our text. Somebody texts me and asks me, Brother Oscar, what's your text? What you talking about? Well, we're talking about giving. We're talking about giving, touching, the ministering to the saints. And uh, we, are on, we are in 2 Corinthians, the second letter that Brother Paul, uh, Brother Paul is teaching to the Corinthian church. The second letter, the second letter, the second thought that Brother Paul had to uh, dish out, <laughs> dish out. <laughs> To the Corinthian church. But before we start on our lesson, I would love to thank everyone that have uh, kept their ears on long enough to hear the chat, and we hope that some will keep their ears on uh, to this portion. And of course, we hope that you be a part of our, our station, be a part of our program, be a part of our day by subscribing to our YouTube station and to any stations. Uh, that you're listening to the program to subscribe to us. Please do that so that they may notify you each time we're coming on. Um, you know, this is, what, Thursday? And the Lord been so good to us, you know, for us to look at God as being a villain and, and everything happened, bec uh, bad that happened because of God. 
No, it doesn't. Bad things happen because of, of some of the decisions, uh, if I may say it like that, that we make at times. Bad things may happen to some of the decisions other people may make sometimes that cause things to happen. But what we must understand that we serve a loving God, a good God, and a God that's about mercy. For an example, and then just just use this for an example. If if, if someone is driving, and that person that's driving has so much alcohol, so much weed, and now they they're legalizing weed. <laughs> Uh, it's not funny, I'm just laughing because I'm giving, I don't want to give a little commercial for weed, and that's not what I'm doing. But some, uh, and now it's weed, because weed is being legalized, which for me, I think it's the wrong step to take. Because look at how uh, they legalize whiskey and wine and see how many people that done killed over time. So what Brother Oscar is saying, when somebody could kill in a, 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 a action as as thus, it's not God's fault. Though you love that person that got killed, and and yes, why God? Why it's not God's fault. It's the person that decided to get drunk or high. That got drunk. They get drunk or high, and got be, and decided to get behind a the steering wheel and drive and not God. See, so God is a loving God, and He allow us to make decisions for ourselves. And begin in the garden, when Eve made the decision to eat of the forbidden tree, she did that. God did not do that. God wanted for them was not to eat of the tree. And of course, he gave it to Adam and Adam did eat and sin entered the world. So don't 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 blame God for everything that bad has happened to you. Blame God for allowing salvation to come down and giving all of us the opportunity to be saved in Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. I know that's not the lesson, but I usually give a little you know, <laughs> Archer, uh, in the beginning of my lesson, I like to give the Archer in the beginning of my lesson to, to help someone this morning, and we hope and pray this morning uh, that we are truly helping someone. And let me say this in my Archer this morning. I, I know we are in a, uh, I guess, uh, a political year where we accept where we are voting for a new president. But you all that, that do uh, vote, we hope that your decision be the right decision. A decision that, because this decision, whoever you put in the White House, gone to effect, everybody lies. The laws they make are laws that allow that they allow to be on you know in in whatever you know so we, we must pick the right person to lead this country that we are in man or woman nowadays to whoever you chose to lead this country all right for the chat for the chat you know what brother oscar wants you to do correct Oh, yes, we know, Brother Oscar. You want us to get relaxed. Yes, I do. Get relaxed. Go ahead on and have a cup of your favorite uh, morning drink. Coffee, tea, milk, juice, hot chocolate, cold chocolate. Whatever it may be. Whatever it may be. Not the hard stuff now. And get relaxed. If you relax in your reclining chair, go ahead on and recline on out. If you're more relaxed at your dinette table, go ahead and have a seat. But what we request here, that you have a copy of God's Word. And if you don't have a copy of God's Word, go ahead and pull it up, or you go ahead and get it, so that you may see where we are chatting from and about. 
Okay? So go ahead on and get a copy of God's Word so that uh, you may see the points that we are trying to talk about or to convey to you this morning and points that we are discussing so that you may see for yourself that we are coming from God's Word and nothing else and nothing less. And as I've said on numerous occasions, if you want to debate whatever I'm saying here on Chatting from the Word, you, you're willing, I mean, you're all right to do that. But if you are going to debate anything I've said, have book, chapter, and verse of the Bible that you want to prove something that I've said wrong. The book, chapter, uh, and verse of the Bible, not something your preacher said, not something that you heard over the years from grandpa, grandmama, or mama and dad, but what's contained in the Word of God. And I haven't had no takers yet, so I must be doing okay. <laughs> I have about one taker, two, maybe two, but I'm doing, we're doing okay. And I think about it, we've been coming on for, what, 12 years, so in those 12 years, just had one, two. Uh, to contact me and say, well, Ross, you said this and that, said that, and it was nothing major. So uh, we want to thank you for uh, being attentive to the things that we teach here on Chatting from the Word. Of course, we're talking about uh, giving, touching the ministerings to the saints, touching the ministering to the saints. And we've been covering, basically we've been covering this lesson on giving for several weeks because in the 8th chapter of the Second Corinthians, Paul mentioned it then. And at the end of that chapter, he mentioned a few people that are going to go uh, with Titus and others to collect the bounty, and I'm going to say bounty because Paul calls it bounty here that the Corinthian church set aside for the ministering to the saints at J Jerusalem, the poor saints at Jerusalem. And here Paul is, is telling the Corinthian church, do I need to stress this point to you? once again about your giving. And he told the Corinthian church, now Corinthian church, I've been bragging on you to other churches because a couple of years ago you gave good. In other words, what Paul was saying, don't let me down this time, Corinthian church. When Titus and the rest of the brothers that are sending you away to collect this money or this bounty, have it ready. Have it set aside. So that they may come, may do a little teaching, may do a little preaching, but the monies will be ready for them to receive and to take to the poor saints in Jerusalem. Amen and amen. So picture this, picture this. When the church was young, when the church first began, they gave and gave and gave. I don't believe, and I haven't read, but they had a social security or welfare set up by the government. So basically, since they didn't have welfare, uh, Social Security, SSI, let me put it like that, all set up for those that are, are in hard times, those that are disabled, those that cannot uh, 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 take care of themselves financially set up then, it fell mainly on the church. And being the fact that, with, the reason why Paul mentioned the poor saints in Jerusalem, because Jerusalem had a, well, they had a big, <laughs> a nice crowd of people. 
about 3,000, 4,000 was being saved and baptized. And they had more poor people to deal with. And this is the reason why I believe, and I know, not so much believe, that Paul was stressing the point about the poor in Jerusalem. Okay? The poor in Jerusalem. And he's telling the Corinthian church, I have this money ready. When these brothers come to you to collect this money. And Paul said, I've chosen these brothers myself. They're good brothers. Brothers that I can trust with collecting or uh, taking this money. Brothers that won't be covetousness or covet the money that they have. Because these brothers won't take nothing. And I know yesterday we said, now some brothers, some leadership, uh, you, you, some you can't trust. Some get a need in the families where, where babies need diapers, milk, uh, or whatever. Uh, they may you pay their rent. And, and the easy way they see how to pay their rent, they may dip in the collection plate and take five, five six hundred dollars. Some preachers do the same thing. But here are these brothers that Paul chose to go and receive the monies in uh, uh, in Corinth for the poor saints in Jerusalem. These brothers was trustworthy. They would not covet a dime of that money and you can trust them. Okay? And then verse 6 and 7 and, and verse 6 and 7 uh, it verses that we in the body of Christ we we quote many times when it comes to our collection, but do we truly know what it means? And that's the question. Verses 6 and 7 in chapter 9 of Second Corinthians says, But this I say, he which soweth sparingly shall reap also sparingly, and he which soweth bountifully shall reap bountifully. In other words, Paul is comparing our giving to a sower who plants seeds for a harvest. And he's saying, now if that sower, listen to what he's saying, Sparingly, if he if he sold sparingly, and sparingly means enough and plenty and over, <laughs> okay. He shall reap enough and plenty and over. Sparingly shall reap also sparingly, and so he which soweth bountifully shall reap also bountifully. In other words, if, if you give from the heart, from your soul, if you give willingly, and if you truly give enough and some over, you will be blessed in a bountiful way. Some may say, well, Brother Oscar, I don't see my blessing. I, I didn't give $100, $200 in the collection plate. I've not yet seen my blessing. Oh, my friend, don't you know the Lord may bless us in different ways? It may not be always in money. It may be in talent. He may bless you with a beautiful baby. He may bless you with a beautiful wife. He may bless you with a beautiful family. He may bless you to... To have the right kind of job. He may bless. God is in a blessing is in the blessing business to bless us. He Jehovah Jireh. He sees and he provides. And that's where our faith should be when we give. When we give, we shall have faith in the Lord that whatever if we give over and beyond, that we would be blessed over and beyond. Okay, we would be blessed 
over and beyond. But a lot of us, as I have said many times, and I've used this, this, this word many times, many of us are just stingy. stingy. <laughs> Sorry about that. But many of us are just stingy and just don't want to give nothing when we are giving and our giving at the body, in the body of Christ. And then Paul says in, uh, in verse 7, Every man, listen to Paul, every man according as he prefers in his heart, so let him give. Not grudgingly, out of necessity, for God loveth a tearful giver. This is my last portion, poet. That this is my last poem. Grudging me if you hold that back and if you really don't want to give. He don't want you to give grudgingly. He don't want you to give. Uh, thinking, oh, I want that money back. Why did I give it? <laughs> and many of us get in that stage, don't we? We, we, we think about our giving and we, we, we say we should not give. Or uh, we should not have gave that what we put in the collection plate. So that's us holding back on God and giving grudgingly. Grudgingly. And then Paul says, uh, out of necessity. And some of us give because we believe that we need to give and we're giving our necessity because this is what we do. We should give from the heart. And if we gave, as Paul had mentioned before, if we gave ourselves the monies we give in the collection plate, should speak for that. Should speak for that. If we gave ourselves monies, this is nothing. And as we have said before, if you're wondering what to give, count the cost. Count the cost. Because God don't want you to be poor. God don't want you at a point where you can't pay your rent. At the point that your lights are going off. But you, he wants you to give, not grudgingly, or out of necessity. But God loveth a cheerful giver. And if giving out of being grudging, out of being, being grudgingly, you're not giving cheerfully. If you're giving out of a necessity, you're not doing it cheerfully. If Paul said, God wants you to be happy, cheerful, even at the point of being uh, hilarious or, 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 or laughing, happy that you gave. He wants you to wear a big smile on your face <laughs> when you give. But a lot of us, we're not wearing that big smile on our face. Some of us, we just, oh, okay, here it is. Here. I know I got to give, so I'm giving it anyway. And we give out of necessity and not out of being cheerful and happy that we give. Don't you know our giving bless us? We are blessed when we give. We are blessed when we give. Amen. And amen. That's my last thought. We are so, excuse me, we are so delighted to be with you this morning. And we just hope you heard the program because in the beginning we had problems with our volume. I just hope and pray that we are coming across pretty good where you can hear us. Uh, the monitor here in the station, in the studio, indicates that you can hear, hear us. So we hope that uh, this program is heard uh, uh, in your ears this <laughs> morning. Okay, and we are so delighted to be with you this morning. And uh, I believe tomorrow's Friday, Friday, the, uh, I believe it's the, the ninth, the ninth. And we are, if it be the Lord's will, we'll be here tomorrow. So we hope and pray that you have your ears on. We pray with me, please. Our Father, which art in heaven, Father, we thank you for another wonderful chance 
one for time, one for day, another chance to dream on, another program chatting from the Word. We pray for each listener, Father. We pray that you be with them, help them to walk with that snap, crackle, and pop. Help them to stay praying up and praising up. Help them to be the light of the world, showing the world Christ in them, so the world may see Christ and accept him. Help those that have not accepted them to accept him. Now may the grace of God, sweet communion, of the Holy Spirit rest, rule, and abide with us until we meet again. In Jesus' blessed name do we pray. Amen and amen. Love somebody. Love everybody. Bye-bye and may God bless.